Alright, well, just to set up the mood, uh, do you remember back in 2020 there was this huge lockdown? Well, that's what we are going through at the moment. You would think that this would be just helpful and perfect for creators. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to come up with great ideas while you are stuck to a, to a couch. But no worries, that's why you're watching this video. I'm here with 5 ways to boost your creativity. Creativity. Intro. And I already know that this is gonna be a great video, and it's not because I can gain millions of views with this video, but because I can potentially help you. And the great stuff with videos like this is that, yes, it can help you, but it can also help me in the future. Alright, well now before we get to this list, uh, we'll need to pack up some stuff, because uh, for this first step we'll need to leave the house. A bit of a drive and now I'm here and right now I'm doing something that I'm not doing too often I put my camera the GH5 on autofocus so let me show you around where I'm where am I at at the moment You will need to know that your life needs to be in a balance in every possible way. You have all of these busy moments when you think that you can hear all the New York City noises up in your brain, in your head. And to become more creative, you will need to stop all those noises until you can only listen yourself. You will need to find a way how to disconnect. You will need to, to find a way how to escape, escape from reality and to not concentrate on all the problems that you have in your life. So for this just hop on your car or on your motorcycle and go somewhere where there's no traffic. That's what I did in the past 30 minutes. To come here, to come in the forest, I'm just hiking but you can even go for a run. But when you're doing this, just please make sure that you're not listening to music. Just, just lose in your brain and listen to the forest and, and try the hiking meditation. I think this is new, I think this is what I'm starting. Hiking meditation, but it's, it's really cool. Try it. I wanted to record this vlog from different locations, but I'm kind of in the mood to finish it in here, in the forest. So here comes step two. The second one is tricky, because you will need to work at a place where you feel that you don't belong there. Because, for example, I used to work at a cookie factory, and I hated it. But after a couple, couple days, my brain started to break out from this boredom, and my brain just started to amuse me with my creativity. I think you can trick this step uh, during this pandemic. Just, just do your chores that you're postponing since 2017. And that might have the same effect. If you want an inspiration of how to get out of this boredom and to feel out what I'm saying here, just watch the movie Amelie. That's, that's one of my favorite movies. Uh oh, we are getting closer to the river. Let's see. This is great. I feel like since the pandemic, I have a closer connection to nature because this is what I do. This is what I do every other day. I just come out and check out this cool mama nature. Mama nature. I was watching a video, a Q&A a couple years ago and Mr. Casey Neistat was asked how he gets inspiration. He responded that every single time when he needs motivation or inspiration, he just watches a PewDiePie video. This isn't working for me because I don't know the sentence, just watch only one YouTube video. When I go up on YouTube, I just get into this rabbit hole and after four days and six hours, I just realized that I spent too much time having fun.
I think it was worth it. Whew, it was a tough running. But let's get back to the list. The fourth one that really helped me last year is that instead of uploading one video per week, I started to upload three videos per week. At this point my brain started to spin, a lot of ideas were coming in and I was freaking out that I won't have enough time to record all of my ideas. If you start feeling like that, that's the moment when you need to come up to places like this to disconnect because otherwise that can be the reason why, why you burn out and that's no fun. Alright, let's go because before it gets dark I want to go to one more spot. When I was a kid I always wanted to buy an apartment or a house somewhere in the middle of the city, somewhere in, in downtown, but as I get older, as I get older I just want I just want to hear this all day. Birds, trees and, and water. I wanna I wanna have somewhere in the forest. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who wants this. Living in an area like this, 15 minutes from the city. That's that's the new dream. Now as a five, I heard a lot, especially from like writers, that they would sit down at least one or two hours a day just to, to train their brains. And I know you would start this with a staring contest between you and the white paper, but imagine your creativity as, as a muscle. You will need to train your muscle to grow it. Okay, well, it's getting dark, so let's go home and I will finish up this video and the conclusion. From home. Yep, I got home and while I was driving I, I realized that I have an extra way how you can be how you can be more creative because with all this rushing and all the all about just producing producing and pushing out books articles videos pictures pushing out content you always forget to disconnect At this time of the year and this time of the century we like to throw out the word essential and basically that's the problem you are forgetting a lot of essential things that your body and your brain needs if you are burning on 300 percent just make sure you have a smartwatch that will tell you to drink water get up and move eat healthy and sleep at least six to eight hours during the night because these are pretty important to say this in a short way if your brain starts to fade First you want to change your lifestyle and then you want to change your doctor. If you would know how I am standing in front of the camera, you would admire me, but... Uh, well, actually, this is how I'm standing in front of the camera at the moment. <laughs> yes, I'm doing stuff like this because I'm like you. At the beginning, you, you want to push out the content out the door just so you can get to the step where you can actually make money with this, with your hobby. And with that, you will need followers or readers or, or somebody who listens to your music. Then you really want to get to the next step, the step when your hobby will pay your bills. And that's when your hobby becomes your job and that's when your job brings, brings back the frustrations. But don't worry, probably at that moment you will be already professional. So step up the game and you can do that. So thank you for watching this video of how I open up my creative mind. And if this is not working for you, don't really worry about it. This is just a process and, and you should enjoy the ride. I mean, that's what everybody says. But if I told you anything new, anything that you were not thinking about previously, just leave me a like button in the comment section below and hit subscribe with the pink snow shovel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.